This is a, a SATA and IDE hard drive cables. Uh, you can buy it for about, depends where you buy it, anywhere from say $9 to $15. But anyway, this is what the box looks like. And this is what you get. You get a, this, this is what gives you power to the SATA drive. You plug it up, okay, and then, and then you get this data cable. This is a SATA data cable. It uh, that's all it is. Just like the one that's in your computer. This is the adapter that comes with it. It's got the USB A on the end. You plug your SATA connection right there. You also have a uh, IDE connector. Now, if you're going to do this and say that I had a, that you have a problem, like I had, my problem was that Windows stopped booting up, and the reason it stopped booting up was because the boot sector of the hard drive got so corrupted. It wasn't even repairable. I want to show you the software that I'm using to repair hard drives. It's called Ease US Partition Master Professional Edition. Now you can get the free download, but the problem with the free download is once you figure out what's wrong with your hard drive, web page pops up and say you got to pay $40. That just gets you to the point of knowing what's wrong with it. And then you have to pay to fix it. But since I have so many hard drives and I've done this, I've been through this so many times, I guess I just screw my computer up. But anyway, so I went ahead and bought this. You can get a lifetime uh, use out of it for two computers. For, I believe it was $39.95 after tax. It turns out to be... I don't know, 41 or $2, say $42. But, you know, being able to reuse your hard drive, and you can clone your hard drive, which I've already done for this computer. I've fixed another clone, so in case this one goes bad, I can just swap out the bad hard drive in the computer for the new one I keep on the shelf. This will let you delete any of these partitions. It'll let you, it will let you fix some hard drive problems, booting problems, it'll clone it or migrate the operating system to a to a new drive. And it doesn't damage the old drive when you clone it. it you can resize them, you can format them, you can delete partitions, uh, you can merge, split. I, I'm not sure what those mean because I haven't used that. You can extend it or shrink it. Uh, Allocate space, change the volume label on the partition, on the hard drive. You can do a surface test. Uh, you can change cluster size. I have no reason to do that. Check the file system. Explorer just gets you into the Explorer part of Windows. It's, it's the same thing. Uh, you can get details on the drive. Uh, on this side, you got Partition Master. Disk clone, disk converter, which means you can convert your partitions from MBR to GPT. I've got a hard drive right here. It's just an old uh, 40 gigabyte hard drive. So I'm going to use it as an example of how to connect the cables and what you do. Starting from the beginning. Okay, here's the connection cable. You've got this little SATA connector. Plug that in there, take the other end, right to where the SATA connection is, just plug it right on in there. It only goes in one way, so if it don't fit one way, just flip it over. And it will go right on. There you go. Just like that. So now you got your data connection. Now you got to connect your power cable. Which is, this is the cable, 
this is the end of the cable right here. And what you do, this will be like an IDE connection. To chat to convert it to a SATA connector, you have to take this extra cable they give you. Just plug it right on the end. Gotta flip it over. It only fits on one way too. You can't do this wrong. You're not going to burn anything up. There's your SATA connection. Right there next to the data. You, you plug that right in. So now you got all your cables connected to your hard drive. Okay. Now you come over here and you connect your USB uh, that's just a hub but just plug the USB into your cable into your computer uh, the hard drive isn't going to be recognized until you plug it the power cord in so I'm going to plug the cord in it's powered up now the computer just recognized the hard drive I just plugged in. So now I'll go right back, double click on Ease US Partition Master Professional. And again it costs $39.95, about $42 after you buy it. You know you gotta pay for tax on everything. Okay. This this zero is the is the hard drive inside of the computer, so I don't want to mess with that. So you go down here says disk 2. That's the hard drive that I just plugged up. Okay, it it's, comes up as drive F. It's an NTFS drive. Uh, 37 gigabyte is what's showing with uh, just a little bit unallocated. It's all hard drives to do this. Uh, so you double click that. Say you want it to format this partition right here, you would just format, hit the format button. Uh, it says NTFS system file. If you wanted to change it, you could change it to FAT32 or whatever. But I'm going to keep it as NTFS because that's what I use with Windows. Click the OK button. It says, do you really want to format this partition? The data on the target partition will be erased. I say yes. It jumps over here to where the mouse pointer is. It says format partition F as NTFS. That's called task and queue. So I'm going to say execute one task. So I click that. It gives you another chance, you know, to get out of it. So I'm going to hit apply. And now it's going right to it. It's already at 95. Trying to close in 96, 97, 98, 99, and 100. When you see the check, the green spot with the arrow, you can hit the done, the done button. Okay. Now that's formatted in FT, F, N, T, F, S. Uh, so that's just an example of how you would format something. Clean a partition. Uh, you know, to get rid of data on your, I want to say you were going to give a drive away and you wanted to get your information off there. Uh, if you wanted to delete this partition, you just come over here and hit the delete button. Do you really, do you want to delete the selected partition? Say yes. Okay. That jumps over in the task partition. I mean the task in queue, which is delete the partition. Hit the execute gives you another chance. You hit the apply button. It's deleting it. 96%, 97%, 98%, 99, 100%. Okay. Hit the done button. And now you can see that this too doesn't have anything on it. It doesn't have any partitions. It's unallocated. But if you want to reformat it, just hit the format button. Say yes. Jumps over here in the queue. You have to hit the execute button. It's going to give you one more chance. Do you want to format this drive? Say yep. And now it's formatting it. So you can see this is really useful stuff. 
it's too bad you don't get the software with the uh, cable connections. It's restarting my computer. I don't know why it did that. But anyway, uh, so you pay about $10, $15 for each set of cables, and then you uh, have to pay about $40 for uh, ease partition software. And that gives you a pretty good setup. I'm going to buy, like I said, I've done bought the, a second set of cables so I can clone <coughs> just just by having them on my bench, two sets of cables. One to the source hard drive, one to the target hard drive. And that way I can clone. Yeah, that's, that did wrong. That did wrong. Crap. Anyway, okay, as you just saw, I managed to screw my computer up. Which is a good thing because now I get to show you how to clone a drive. I've already put my clone drive that I had in the computer into this computer. Windows is starting up. Everything's fine now. That's why it's so good to have a backup hard drive. Because I've got I've got software on this hard drive that I can't replace without paying, you know, without buying it again. So I've got my clone drive that I had, or the original drive, back into the computer. I was using my clone drive. Okay, I went off. I clicked something wrong while ago. This is this is a good example of why you have to be really careful about the buttons you push <laughs> in the software, because it will surely screw your computer up if you do it wrong. So anyway. I'm just standing here waiting for computers to load. But this gives me a chance to show you how to do this stuff. So I've got the good running hard drive in the computer. I've got the one I've just messed up sitting right here. After the computer, after Windows loads, then we'll uh, make the USB-A connector it, plug it into the computer. Give it some power on the power cable. <coughs> and then we'll uh, start the process. I'm going to skip this. I'm going to wait until my window's low. Okay, we're back. Windows is loaded. I have my original source drive that I made the other clone from the one that I just screwed up I started I just end the video then I got to thinking wait a minute if I don't show that you can mess your hard drive up uh, I'm going to be misleading the viewers of this video so I'm going to show you I did screw it up. I must have pushed a wrong button or something. I don't know. I'm sure I did. This stuff don't just don't just tear your computer up. It it does what you tell it to do. So apparently I I hit a wrong button. But anyway, this is this is important stuff. You can screw your computer up if you hit the wrong button. So you know, make sure you're paying attention like I didn't <laughs> and uh, anyway I'm going to show you how to get things back right I've got the original hard drive that needed replacing this one has a little bit of a defect a physical defect that's why I cloned it you know into a better drive so here we go we're going to hit the double click the ease US partition master software just double click it. It's got to load up. And it might take a minute or two, especially if you got an older computer like me. I try to fix everything I got. I'll, I'll use it until it dies, you know. So anyway, disk zero is the drive that's 
in the computer. Okay. Now we got the cables on the other drive that I just screwed up that I'm going to have to redo. So we got the data cable, the power cable, everything's ready to go. I found that it's actually better to go ahead and plug the power up first. You don't have to do this, but I believe it's easier on your computer. I don't know. And then you take your USB-A. I say USB-A connector in case you don't know. It's just the ones that's on your computer. Plug it into your computer USB port. I just found it. So do you want to reload the disk information? Say you say yes. And that way it's, it's, it's loading the old hard drive up. By the way, just to make sure that you don't push the wrong button, like going to these sides, you can put your pointer, mouse pointer, over the disk that you're working on. Right click it, and this menu comes up. That way there's no way you can screw it up like I just did. Okay, I've got the, my backup hard drive in the computer. I've got it connected. to the computer. This too is what it is. Now, one thing about this, <coughs> when you go to clone, let me put it on disk on. It says, it's got four options here. The one you want to pick, the one I want to pick, is so that everything on the old hard drive will be on the new hard drive. Everything will work perfect. All you have to do is pop that hard drive back into the computer, it's going to work. So that's going to be the first one, Migrate Operating System. Migrate Operating System, all the programs from the system disk to another disk, it's going to copy everything from that hard drive. So click that, the next button, that up. Now It's going to have the, uh, the drive in the computer is going to be the source drive. You can see it says source. The other one, it says select a, disk, a destination disk you want to clone to from the source. So I want to clone to this to. So I hit that little button. You can see that it kind of lights up. Hit the next button. It says, do you want to continue migrating? So you say yes. And then you get one more chance. It says disk zero source to disk two destination. Everything's connected right. So all I have to do is hit the start button. Double click it. Now what it's doing, operation is in progress. Please wait. And this is kind of a slow process. It might take, I believe the last time I did it, it took at least an hour, maybe an hour and 10 minutes. <coughs> right there, you can see it's done 1%. This isn't a fast process. It shows your remaining time, but the thing about that, it will keep updating so. Like it says, well, it's just an hour and 12 minutes right now. So that's probably pretty close to being right. But what you got to do is just go somewhere and let it do what it's going to do and check on it every once in a while. Uh, because like I said, it can take a while. The bigger the drive and the more data that you're putting on your new drive, the longer it is going to take. So... Uh, it's copying. Now it's saying up to three minutes, but I don't know. It's at thirty percent. I don't. I don't. I'm not sure about that. That looks a little quick to me. It looks way too quick to me. So anyway, I'll be right back once it gets done. Okay, I'm just going to show you here that after about I don't know what ten minutes. That is up to 52%. So 
So, yeah, it takes a little time. And it's at 52%. Okay. Bye. Okay, the uh, software has finished cloning the drive. And after, after it clones the drive and gets through, does 100%. You have to adjust the boot order. It says if you want to start up your computer from the clone target disk, check the option below. Adjust the boot order from the clone target disk. And then you have to hit OK. Uh, what this means is that it's going to label this hard drive as your C drive so that it can start up your Windows. So Let's do that. Hitting OK. It says clone successful. A total of whatever has been successfully cloned from disk zero, which is the one in the computer right now. And everything's OK. So that's good news. So now all I have to do is put my drive back into the computer. Put my my uh, original drive back up on the shelf, and everything's okay. So I'm gonna put this drive in there, and uh, then I'll show you that it works. Okay, I got the drive swapped. I'm gonna turn the computer on. This computer is a tad bit slow. It's an i7, but it's still a tad bit slow. Okay, it's loading windows up. Like I said, all my stuff is mostly older stuff because I fix everything I have. I don't, I try not to throw anything away. The only reason I would change a computer out would be that it's either too slow or or it's just, you know, it's just so old that I couldn't use it anymore. I don't throw anything away. I mean, I even fix stuff and, and put it away. You know, of course, that's, that can be a good thing and that can be a bad thing because you wind up with a lot of, it's working stuff, but you wind up with a lot of stuff you don't need. You can see it's loading, loading up and it's working okay. But uh, like I said before, I'm glad I showed you this because it just goes to show that this uh, software is pretty strong stuff and you can, you can definitely screw your computer up if you're not careful and you have the, you click the wrong thing. So, you know, be careful with it. It's good stuff, but be careful with it. Anyway, that's the end of the video. And you can see there's my desktop. And there's my old hard drive sitting up there on the shelf waiting for me to screw my computer up again. <laughs> anyway, I appreciate you watching. Thanks.